Concessions on brake pads, tires and parts for public passenger buses and a $400 EC dollar per month gas allowance for three months is not enough for the St. Peter's Bus Drivers Association. That's according to PRO of the St. Peter's Bus Drivers Association, Delroy Carey. Mr. Carey, in an interview with SK Newsline, said the bus drivers had requested $1,000 in fuel assistance instead. Well, while we appreciate the, the assistance that was, was given out by the government, we are saying that we don't, it is not timely and it could have been better. And why I say that? Because you offer us $400 for a month to, to, to subsidize it and fail. Now we are saying that the average buses use about $120, $250 a day and fuel a day. You are giving us $100 a week to assist with fuel. I mean, if you calculate that we spend over almost $3,000 a month on fuel, so we, have, we, were, we were proposing to them that they would give us the $1,000 across the board for the next three months, along with the other initiative of the brakes pack, the brake shoes. We feel like that would have helped us a little better in the situation that we are in now. That plan that they roll out with the brakes pad and brakes, that has been there and, and already the government took it back. So all they do is reintroduce it. Like I say, we, we appreciate it, but we feel that that is more of a long-term benefit than the situation the busmen are in now. I mean, we are struggling to meet payments because for the last two months now or more, we have been operating with, with 75% and at times less. It was down to half with the amount of passengers that we are allowed to carry. So it's a real strain, and, and the bus operator now, the parts situation keep going up. So we having to spend out more, but we are actually collecting less. So it's a real struggle now, and we would have really appreciated the government could have done something a little more than, than what was rolled out. Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris met with bus drivers earlier this month to discuss the concession. In that meeting, he expressed to the bus drivers that this was the best the government could do to assist them due to the financial challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. And the efforts that many of you made, notwithstanding the pressures of the COVID, to comply and to be helpful. You did it when we had the first lockdown, you did it again, and we understand some of the issues. And so we said we wanted to help and to indicate to you that we are with you. Even at this difficult time, you end that important service and we want you to continue to provide that good support. Based on a ZIZ TV report, the representatives of the various bus drivers association present at that meeting had a more positive response to the stimulus package. I really think that it was a good step in the right direction for us as bus drivers. Even though we weren't able to get some of the stuff that we would have asked for, I still think that he was extremely helpful in chartering the course that would help us to get to where we need to get. I felt um, very special because he took his time out to listen to us as um, the president and to hear our concern. So the meeting to me was very productive. I know that this is a pandemic and he won't be able to do much, but at least he has promised to do something in, con in conjunction with um, the stimulus package. So we want to say thank you and thanks to the Prime Minister for using that gesture. But Mr. Carey has a different opinion. He believes that despite government's financial challenges, they could have done more. It, it, it is considered, yes, but what we are saying that you, in, when we look at some of the other packages that, that was rolled out, in some instances they were increased. And what we are saying that we was only asking for a six hundred dollar more. Because we are saying that take back the four and give us a thousand dollars for the next three months. We wasn't asking it for it for six months per year. We're just saying just help us with the thousand dollars for the next three months, which could could have helped bring back some of some of us the operators, you know, back to a, a level playing field in terms of our our expenses. The bus drivers were required to lessen the number of passengers on their buses as part of the government's measures to restrict the spread of COVID-19. I'm Andre Huey reporting for SKN Newsline.